This is something I've been looking forward to down, since down, we down, heard down, about down, this down. earlier this week. We have got down, Harrods down. head pastry chef, Philip Corey, oh, in. here in. to make a real chocolatey, delicious, moist, <laughs> lovely, ganache, fudgy chocolate you say moist cake. Very well. I like that word. Yes, beautiful Philip, word. <laughs> tell us what you're making. All right, so we're making a chocolate sponge, a really rich, dark, Chocolate Ooh. sponge and chocolate ganache, but it's actually really easy. I know it looks a little Look at bit that. It's perfect. complicated, it's so but uh, cut, yeah, it? it's, it's actually really achievable. <laughs> so perfect. to start with the sponge, we've got dry ingredients, so plain flour, cocoa powder, some salt, baking powder and bicarb, which all go in one bowl. And then we just give those a little whisk. This is a oh, little whisk. Cheap version of do you, sifting. Do you love baking? I love is baking. Your, is that your like Absolutely. comfort place? And I love it because I love eating sweet things. Philip, what's your background? How'd you get into it? Are you. I um, I love cake so much that I decided to to make it for a living. Who got you into cakes then? My dad actually. Really? Yeah, he would make all my birthday cakes and uh, yeah, I just would fell you just in love sit and it. watch him do it? <laughs> yeah. So it was your aspiration nice. to always be a pastry chef? It was. <laughs> No, I was actually going to be a designer first, and I trained as a designer. And then, so we got our dry ingredients together. Yeah. yeah. The water, some dark brown sugar, tiny bit of extra virgin olive oil. I've never seen, like, no. the sugar going into um, water before. Some apple cider vinegar, but you could use any vinegar yeah. you like. Some vanilla extract. Yeah, boy. And then we give that a whisk. He loves a whisk, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, he loves do. a whisk. <laughs> so this is the wet ingredients. This is the wet ingredients that we're just going to add to the dry ingredients. Going to add half at a time because yeah. I just want to incorporate all the uh, flour in first yeah. before I becomes. Be Do you know what? I don't even loose. think I've got a sieve in my house. I don't really? think I have a sieve. I don't think I own a sieve. I've got an electric mixer, but I yeah, don't you could think use that. I own a sieve, like one of those sieves. It's all good silly. stuff in your house. Just Nothing needs to be sieved out. It's all great. <laughs> yeah. You know it's going to end no up. Room. In, you know it's going to end up in the pot. Can't can't move for dresses. <laughs> I've seen you baking, uh, Alison. I hope you've gotten better over the past... Uh... She is a great baker. The problem with me is I'm a little bit of a um, natural baker, so I bake from sight. Is I don't measure. Thing? I just... Yeah, and it, but every time... I hit every time, don't I? You taste my cakes. Well, I'm not being well. big-headed, but I'm yeah. just one of them people oh, who can just look at it and I know how much it needs. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And when you're that talented, you've you're got to talented. spread it's the love. Instinct, and it? you've got to tell it's people instinct. about it. It's not big-headed, it's just sharing it's just the love. <laughs> exactly. I feel it's just facts. Now, yeah. listen, what's, what have you got in that bowl? So I've got the batter. It's come together beautifully. Yeah. Oh, you don't lovely. have to worry about over-mixing this one. Lovely batter. And I'm going to eyeball this, but I would normally weigh 600 grams into an eight-inch uh, tin. Yeah, well, you're rolling with Alison now. And then you, yeah, yeah, exactly. that dry measure. Yeah, we don't need to measure. And you just actually, get it in there, Bob. You're going to see these purple strips. This, for me, is the secret to perfect round, flat sponges What's the purple strips? What's that? So they're actually, they're called baking strips, and they're just fabric that you can put in the oven. You soak them, and it oh, insulates the sides, so you get that in, in perfect never. rise. No, I've and never the thing is, this. in professional kitchens, we have... Lots of tools, ovens to get the perfect sponge, but at home, I find these work and what, amazingly. And that gives you the perfect rice? Yeah. I've never heard of this before. And what, you, you make those or you buy them like that? Yeah. Those purple things, you buy and them? And we've got soy milk, yeah. You buy them uh, from any bakery oh, shop, okay. Amazon. So we've got soy milk and oh, brown sugar. So this is vegan, this whole thing. It is, it? yeah. And then I'm just going to let that... I'm going to use a blender. And oh, you'll see... Taste I've got oh. half, half in here. And then I add some extra cold one to bring it mm. to temperature. And what milk is that? Almond or soy? Soy. Yeah. You can use any plant milk, plant-based milk though. Yeah. And then I like oat. Yeah, oat's great too. I like oat. You know, oat something you get that really oat cream. Well. That's really nice. You would never know that's a vegan cake, no, oh, would you? Would you? I'm glad to hear. It's <laughs> lovely. Find the recipe in the book. Wow. Um, oh, that was very deft. Well done. <laughs> Let's talk about the book. So uh, a new way to bake. Philip Caudry, what is the new way to bake? What, new are, you, way to what bake. are you reimagining? For me, it's here? that we have so many incredible ingredients in the pantry that are naturally plant-based, and uh, it's just about using them in new and exciting ways. I don't think we need substitutes or anything yeah. special. So pour the ganache into you a You can tray. just pour that straight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <I'm ready. laughs> um, ganache sets ganache overnight. Ganache the mouth. Or after four time. hours at room temperature. Yeah. And then just I've got it into a piping bag. Oh, gonna, yeah, I love that. So this is probably the funnest Look bit. Look how neat also, you are. Like, for most people, this would be like... Just rushing through. No. I couldn't You're get it okay. that neat. We're not going to wrap you, baby. Don't you worry. <laughs> no, and then we you have take your time. 
Uh, the second piece of sponge. Oh, look now, what I've in actually real life. Um, put in four layers just by cutting these in half. So if you feel confident enough, you could do that too. I Wasn't you in too. the Bake Off? I did not. I did the professionals you did the professional as a Bake Off, didn't as you? a guest judge, and uh, that was really fun. Yeah, I Loved remember that set a challenge, and yeah, it was really good. So did you enjoy piping. it? Yeah, it was, it was really fun. And then just <sighs> using a piping bag because it's a bit easier. Philip, you're totally underselling your book. So are you, um, is it all based around about plant-based stuff? Is there exactly. any dairy in this so at all? It's all about using things that we already have in kind of new and exciting ways. I'm going to put this aside because... Yeah, if you just... wanted to add a bit of milk or butter, you can do that, can't you? Sorry, something was on the side. Literally, there, so. I love the fact you're stealing from the ice piping bag no. off the table. <laughs> it got on the side, so I was just... You look like cat. <laughs> <laughs> and then we finish masking. I've got some gold leaf because it makes everything look fancy. Oh, yeah. How do you put and, that on there? Uh, I'm just going to... with a little toothpick. Is that really expensive, gold leaf? You know, it's 23 karat gold because you need to be able to eat it. And is it all right to eat you it? You can, like, yeah, absolutely. I bet you, that never leaves your body, though. You can... I just don't get it. I think I don't the whole get thing it. is that it passes through without... It's not just... Would um, you not eat it? Well... I'm just not a massive fan of eating gold. It just gives it that festive <laughs> touch. It feels like know? the world's literally going mad if we're eating gold. <laughs> <laughs> so, however, the cake is that delicious. That is stunning. Look at that. And the book looks fandabby dozy. And it's vegan, which is wonderful. It's vegan, there we yeah, go. Yeah, you've got something to bake for anyone that... Yeah. Uh... Do you... Oh, look at the slice. Let's do take you, it out. Do you heat your... Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. That's... Philip, do you heat stunning. your knife? Absolutely. Hot water or a big blowtorch? Uh, for the perfect cut every time. No, oh, thank guy. you, Philip. <laughs> that is lovely. Look, listen, if you fancy making this delicious chocolate fudge cake or any other recipe from our chefs, just head to our free this morning. Uh, well done, uh, Philip. Thank you so much.